Hello everyone! This is a very exciting week for the Apple fans because for the first time, iPhone came out with the iPhone 12 mini and this year, the iPhone 12 Pro Max actually has the largest screen ever built on an iPhone. This is a 6.7 inch display while the iPhone mini is so cute and small at 5.4 inch. And earlier on in October, Apple launched the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. These two models are 6.1 inch display diagonally. Based on my survey among my friends, the ladies seems to like the iPhone 12 mini a lot because of how the size is so small and cute. Because the iPhone 12 mini, the size is just perfect for the hands on the ladies. They can basically touch from one end to the other end without much of a problem. Finally, Apple are hearing their calling. You know, doesn't mean that everybody wants to have a bigger phone, so the Mini is totally suitable for them. And it's not just for girls. Even the guys who love a smaller phone would love it. So although the iPhone 12 Mini is smaller, it's not compromised in terms of performance. It still has the same A14 Bionic chip that all the iPhone 12 series have. So now, I think the next question for you will be, how small is this, right? This is the iPhone SE, okay? This is actually, a, I think it's a 4.5 inch display. While looking at this, right, check that out. The form factor for the iPhone 12 mini is actually smaller than the SE, while at the same time, it's actually wider when it comes to the screen. So pretty amazing, right? And it's so nice, lah. Check this out. This is like the Tiffany green, I would say. So pretty. And let's take a look at the other colors. Okay. The iPhone 12 Pro, if you've seen my unboxing video earlier, you know that this is the Pacific Blue. This is one of the new colors this year. And this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max in gold. I think the logo here is not very obvious when I put it like that. But if I would do this, yes, the logo is still here. And when I first unboxed this Go iPhone 12 Pro Max, I was all by the whole look of it. It looks like a bar of gold. Check that out. So nice, right? This gold It's like subtly yellow. It's not too the old fashioned kind of like very yellow gold. And it looks a bit more chic in this gold. So pretty, right? My God, when I first opened it, I was like, Ooh, what the hell? It's so nice. I don't even want to put a case over it because it's just so pretty. Check out my friend's dog. This is Belle. So cute, right? I took this picture. So nice. The gold. Woohoo. But the side is a bit fingerprint magnet. Lah, huh? But whereas for the 12 and the 12 mini, the fingerprint magnet will be on this side of the glass. Yep. This is the glossy part. This is the matte part. Whereas for the Pro series, the matte part is on this side and then the glossy part is here. But if you have not seen the Pacific Blue, let me show it to you closed up. Ooh, very nice, right? Can I please ignore the dust and the fingerprint? Ah, but oh, so pretty. The Pacific Blue, oh, it's so nice also. So, which one do you prefer? The Gold or the Pacific Blue? Oh, hard to choose, man. Since we're talking about the 6.7 inch iPhone 12 Pro Max, how does it compare to the 7 inch iPad mini? So here's a direct comparison here. Obviously, because it's measured diagonally, so that's why it can reach 6.7 inch because of the ratio. So the ratio of the iPad mini is actually very different. So the seven inch is measured like that. But let me play back a video and you will see the difference. It's actually not too much of a difference. And if you were to do the zooming in, it's actually almost the same size. Almost lah, huh? But it's quite cool, right? To be able to hold it on your hands 
on an iPhone to watch the video compared to holding a bigger iPad mini. So this size is actually quite cool also. But then again, if you are using iPad mini, there's a reason why you want that. Because the iPad mini now supports Apple Pencil. So that is why you would want to have an iPad mini as well. Not too bad, right? The screen difference. Okay, now for those who are unsure about the difference between these three models, or actually the four model, I will not put the iPhone 12 in here because the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini are actually everything pretty much the same except for the size of the screen and the device. So obviously, as you can see, there are two cameras on the iPhone 12 mini and there are three cameras on the Pro series, okay? as well as the additional of the LiDAR sensor. So this LiDAR sensor makes augmented reality a little bit better. At the same time, it doubles up as a focusing sensor, which makes focusing and your bouquet shots so much better in the dark. The bouquet shot, I mean, is actually from the portrait mode, okay? So aside from the 12 and the 12 mini, the Pro actually has this thing called the Apple RAW Photos. So this will only be introduced later with an update later this year, okay? So it's not currently available. And this Apple RAW Photo would actually help for content creators or photographers to have more flexibility when it comes to editing of their pictures as well, okay? Then the main difference between the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max will be the sensor on the main camera. The main camera sensor is actually bigger on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So it actually works much better for low light photography. And as well as the telephoto lens, this will actually make the iPhone 12 Pro have up to five times optical zoom. The iPhone 12 Pro Max will also come with a new sensor shift optical image stabilizer for smoother videography when doing a walking shot. So this is a quick introduction of this year's series of the iPhone 12. So if you have any questions for us, please leave it down in the comment section below. And if you like our video, please remember to share and give us a thumbs up, okay? So see ya. Bye.